In March of 1925, the 614th yard of the Bremen Vulcan shipyards in Vexag, Germany, completed a brand new vessel. Her name was the SS Berlin, and she was a passenger liner owned by the Norddeutscher Lloyd, North German Lloyd Line. The ship was launched on the 25th of March 1925, being commissioned on September 17th of that year. On September 26, 1925, the Berlin departed for her maiden voyage from Bremenhaven, Germany to New York, US, with a stop at Southampton, England. She served on the Bremen Southampton Cherbourg, New York route for over the next 10 years. On the 12th of November 1928, the SS Berlin rescued the passengers and crew of the SS Vestries. While en route from New York to Barbados, the ship sank off Virginia, U.S., taking 113 people with her. In May of 1939, the ship was laid up to undergo a refit, and later that year, the Kriegsmarine, the Nazi German Navy, began operating her as a workers' cruise ship for the strength through joy, Kraft durch Freude, a labor program. Later in the war, the Berlin began operating as a hospital ship, one of eight Nazi ships to perform that function in World War II. Some of these vessels, perhaps all of them, would later be used for other wartime services. The ships were given alphabetical designation letters and Berlin became Hospital Ship A, entering service on the 23rd of August 1939. Her berths could take on 400 patients and a 165-person crew. The ship initially served in Norwegian waters as field post number 07520. In January of 1945, the Berlin participated in Operation Hannibal, transporting military and refugees from the Eastern Baltic. On the 31st of the month, the ship hit a mine near Swinemont, Poland, while trying to form in a convoy and heading east. She began to be told to kill Germany. The vessel hit a second mine and the crew beached her in shallow waters. One life was lost. The vessel was abandoned with all needed equipment salvaged by the 5th of February. In 1949, the Soviet Union salvaged and refloated the ship, naming her Admiral Nahimov after Admiral Pavel Nahimov, shown here, who was an important figure in the Crimean War. Her gross tonnage was increased in 1957 after she entered service for the Black Sea Shipping Company, shown here a typical telegram from the company to one of their ships. Five years later, she was used for transporting troops during the famous Kubel missile crisis. During the most booked summer season, the Admiral Nahimov undertook Black Sea cruises from Odessa, Ukrainian SSR, to Batumi, Georgian SSR. Every round trip was done in six days, with the ship carrying about 1,000 people each time. The vessel became the company's flagship until the appearance of more modern liners. On the 31st of August 1986, at 10 p.m. Moscow time, the SS Admiral Nahimov departed Novorossiysk, Russian SFSR, for Sochi, Russian SFSR, under the command of Captain Vadim Markov. The ship was carrying 888 passengers and a 346-person crew. While the passengers were mostly Ukrainian, there were also people from Central Asia, Russia, Moldova, and the Baltic Republics. Several minutes later, her pilot saw the Pyotr Vasiv, a bulk carrier, being on a collision course with the liner. The Pyotr Vasiv was built in Japan, but acquired by the USSR and having a mass of 18,604 gross tons was returning from Canada with barley and oats as cargo. The Vasev's response to the Nahimov's transmitted warning was, don't worry, we will pass clear of each other, we will take care of everything. 
But as the ships continued on their way, no course of action was taken by Vasev's captain Viktor Tkachenka. With the previous message giving him confidence, the liner's captain Markov went to his cabin. First mate Alexander Chudnovsky was now at the helm. Beginning at 11 p.m., he radioed the Pyotr Vasev multiple times, requesting to know the plans of her crew's actions, himself altering the liner's course by 10 degrees port side. At 11.10 p.m., seeing that the ships were now dramatically close, Chudnovsky ordered the freighter to immediately reverse full astern. The order was put into action, but as the ships were perfectly aligned for collision, any evasive maneuvers proved futile. The Pyotr Vasev struck the Admiral Nahimov while being 8 nautical miles from the latter's port of departure and 2 nautical miles from shore. While some passengers were still participating in onboard activities, many were sleeping. They could do nothing as the vessels collided and many were instantly killed. At an approximately 5 knot speed, the Vasev rammed the Nahimov's starboard side while the latter continued sailing, causing a 900 square foot hole in the area of the engine room, boilers and electric generators. As the vessels collided, the Nahimov lost power and took a severe list to starboard, while the diesel emergency generator did so turn on and the lights again went off just minutes later. Many deaths were probably assisted by disorientation due to darkness. The events were unfolding so quickly that lifeboats had no time to be launched. Instead, people were jumping overboard and clinging onto any object they could find. The Admiral Nahimov sank in only 8 minutes, an entire 10 minutes faster than the famous Lusitania. 10 minutes after she went down, rescue ships began arriving at the sea. One of these ships was the Pyotr Vasiv herself. She had not sustained serious damage. In total, 20 helicopters and 64 rescue ships arrived, getting 836 people out of the water. The rescuers had to themselves jump in the water, as some people were covered by fuel, and their hands were extremely slippery. During her conversion from the SS Berlin, the ship had her watertight compartments removed, which influenced the rapidity of her sinking. Another factor were the 90 portholes being open on the Nahimov due to a lack of good ventilation. Of the 1,234 people on board, 423 including 359 crew members and 64 passengers went down with the ship. Soviet news did not report the disaster for 48 hours, with the survivors only being allowed to send loved ones the following telegram, alive and well in Novorossiysk. Today, the SS Admiral Nahimov, former German liner Berlin, rests on her starboard side and can be found 150 feet into the water. After a refit, the bulk carrier Pyotr Vasiv sailed again under many different names and flags. She remained in service until 2012. To investigate the disaster, a commission of inquiry was formed by the USSR government. At a 1987 inquiry in Odessa, it was determined that both Captain Kachenka of Pyotr Vasev and Captain Markov of Admiral Nahimov were guilty of breaking rules of safety in navigation. Kachenko ignored the Nahimov's numerous requests to pass and only reported the collision 40 minutes after it actually happened. Captain Markov 
worsened the situation by being absent from the bridge. Charged with criminal negligence, both captains were sentenced to 15 years in prison. However, both men were released in 1992. Since the sinking of the Nahimov, there have been many investigations and theories surrounding the disaster. These range from high possibility to conspiracy and even the supernatural. For example, some say that the ship sank after committing suicide, as her namesake Admiral had been shot by a sniper. Additionally, the liner Admiral Nahimov was one of at least six ships bearing the name. Most of them had uneasy fates. The first Admiral Nahimov, an 1885 armored cruiser, sank on the 20th of May 1905 in the Battle of Tsushima. The second Admiral Nahimov was a 1915 light cruiser belonging to a class of the same name, but was later renamed Chervona Ukraina, Red Ukraine. She sank after an air assault on November 13, 1941 but was raised six years later and used as a target in the early 50s. The third vessel was, of course, the SS Berlin, which sank as Admiral Nahimov in 1986. The fourth, a Sverdlov-class cruiser, was built in 1951, shot by missiles and broken up between 1961 and 1962. The fifth, once again a cruiser, was built in 1969 and sold for scrap in 1993 without too many incidents. Finally, the sixth ship, originally named Kalinin, was built in 1986 and serves the Russian Navy to this day, carrying the Admiral Nahimov name since 1992. The events surrounding some of these ships have led many to believe the unfortunate admiral's name to be cursed. This belief is also enhanced by many people having died while diving the wreck of the former Berlin. Regardless of whether these rumors are true, the SS Berlin seems to be one of the unfortunate ships that became famous only due to the tragedy and mystery surrounding them, and still, the tragedy and loss of life that occurred on the 31st of August 1986 should be remembered forever. <laughs>